Hello, hello, Michelle here with my designs in the chaos, where it's always my goal to develop. Hello, hello, Michelle here with my designs in the chaos, where it's always my goal to develop, encourage and grow your crafting talent and confidence. And today I am live on day number 12 of our series, The Daily Dose of Design. So um, I am really excited today to be able to talk a little bit about fonts. So every single day in this series, The Daily Dose of Design, you guys have sent in questions to me, info at mydesignsinthechaos.com. Unfortunately, I can't get um, the program I'm using to get all the words up on the screen. <laughs> I can't get that to work for today, so we're just going to have to go with it. But I did put my email is up in the description of the video that you are watching. So if you have a question, make sure to send it over. And if you would like to get these in your inbox every single day, make sure to click the link and add in your email so that way you don't miss a single video in this free series. So today's question for day number 12 of our daily dose of design is all about fonts. And the question came to me um, via email and it said, when I download a font and I go to install it, I have two different versions of fonts. There's one that says OTF and one that says TTF. Which one do I use when I am designing files? And so what you'll do is you will, um, I'm looking, sorry, I'm getting distracted because I'm trying to figure out where I can see comments because I see that there's comments, but I can't see the actual comments. So, <laughs> okay, so I will come back and if you have a question, you can also leave it in the comments and I'll come back and answer those as well. I'd love to hear if you're watching on the replay, where you're watching from, maybe what you've enjoyed most about this series so far and what you're looking forward to coming up in the future. Um, but the question was, when I open up this zipped file that has my font that I'm supposed to download, I have two types of fonts in there. I've got an OTF font and I have a TTF. They're both titled very similar things. Which one do I actually use when I'm designing? So today I want to answer that question and I want to talk about why you're going to use the one that I'm going to share. So there's three reasons why you should use the OTF version of the font. Now, OTF sounds, stands for open type format or open type font, and then TTF is true type format, true type font. So you're always going to want to use OTF. Now, another way I've heard it explained, or um, I can't remember where I heard this from, but OTF is open that font. TTF, trash that font <laughs> because you don't want to usually typically use the TTF version. So the TTF one, you really don't need, but the OTF one is the one that you're going to want to use. And then sometimes in current font files, you'll also see um, WOFF, and that's a web open font format, format font, web open format font. And um, that is a font that is a newer one. So that'll, it's, it, you don't see that as frequently, but I'll talk about that one in a minute as well. So the three reasons why you should use the OTF font. Reason number one, the OTF style of the font actually has um, more space in it to hold more advanced components inside the font. So if you are going to be utilizing like international characters or maybe you're typing in a different language or something like that, a TTF font doesn't necessarily have the same capabilities to typing those things in, which means the person creating the font probably wasn't able to put all of those things in in the same font. They might have had to do multiple fonts for that. So for the OTF version, if you are designing fonts as well, it's a a lot more um, robust. It holds a lot more in the actual file, especially for international characters. So that's number one. Number two is because the OTF version of the font, it actually contains the actual true curves that were originally created with the font, like the bezier curves and lines that the font was created with originally. It has those rather than a conversion of those lines and those 
those points. So a lot of times you'll see a lot more detail on an OTF font. Sometimes the TTF font, some of the curves can get lost or it just looks a little bit more choppy. That's why. So OTF is number uh, is the way to go and that's the second reason why is because it supports the actual curves and lines rather than a conversion of the curves and lines. Now sometimes you're not even going to notice the difference, but just on the back end of things, it helps make um, the program work a lot smoother when you're using that font tile font um, style, font type. The third reason why you should use the OTF, open that font, <laughs> open type format over the TTF, trash the font, um, is because it's usually smaller in size. Because it is a newer font style, um, like a font option to save with, a lot of times it can compact all of the information into a smaller file, which is better for your computer. It gives you more space to download more fonts, right? Um, but it's a lot smaller in size. And so because of that, it's easier to work with. It takes up less space. Um, and so I highly, highly encourage you to use the OTF instead of the TTF. And then I also mentioned sometimes you're going to see the WOFF, which is the Web Open Format font. And this one is for online. So if you are working on a web page or doing something online, you're going to want to use the WOFF. And really the biggest feature of this font file type, if you use that one, is it will help your web pages load faster because of the compactness of the file format. So in short, the three main reasons why you should use the OTF. Number one, it supports more international characters. Number two, it actually contains the real curves of the original file, not a conversion of them. And number three, it's usually a lot smaller in size, which is better for your computer and storage and processing time. So those are the reasons why you should always use the OTF if it's available in that font file and trash that TTF one. Um, sometimes depending on your computer, depending on the machine you have, it might not be able to to support or read the OTF one, depending on what the processing system is that you're running. So you might have to go with a TTF, but just know it's a little more cumbersome and you might run into um, a little bit more um, limitations whenever you're working with that style. Okay, so if you enjoyed today's daily dose of design or if you learned something new, I appreciate it if you spread the lab. If you would like to get these in your inbox every single day, make sure to click the link above. And um, I I, if you have a question, make sure to send it over and I would love to answer it on one of our Daily Dose of Design series. So I will see you guys back tomorrow with day number 13. Have a great one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.